YouTube. How's it going? Welcome back. Today we're here with a uh, requested by a guy in my comics and comics comments in the last video, which was the Hogwarts video. Which, if I can do the I thing with Jake, it'll be linked right up there. But if not, I almost knocked over the drink. But if not, then it'll be in the description below and at the very end of the video. But that was pretty cool, pretty pretty cool video. Sorry for being so weird there, but pretty cool video. Lots of fun. But we're gonna go ahead and get into, as you can see here, kingdoms and castles, which uh, I have some stuff a long time ago, like a year ago, on my channel of early access beta of this game, and it was it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. I streamed it. I'm pretty sure it was awesome. It was fun. Anyways, we're back after two major updates. Uh, one that just happened on June 19th, which is the Grand Buildings update, which makes allows you to build big, big buildings. Pretty self-explanatory, as you can see right up there. Sorry, there, that side of the screen. Over there, there is a thing for that. And, uh, there's also armies and stuff that was been updated, but I did play that update, so I know what's going on there. But, there is a new latest update. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump on into the video. Uh, I only plan to do a showcase, maybe 10 to 15 minutes long kind of just progressing through the game pretty quickly. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a series out of at least this showcase. It'll just be a standalone, but if it is highly received, then yes, I will go back and we will do a playthrough of it. But for that being said, let's go ahead and just get into a new game. So we're going to just click the new one. We're not going to do standard because I've already been doing this stuff. And I kind of want to get to the late game stuff which we're going to use trade mode, which is a new mode added, so that'll also be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, accept that. So what do we got here? Options for creative. We can change the map size to random, map type random. We can change the terrain generated. We can add, what does this do? Adds infertile land, adds basic land, and then this one adds super green land. And you can add trees. Bro, that's pretty cool. You just, it's like a brush. Neat. You can add water, you can add rock. It's interesting that you can add resources in. So just add a quarry and add that in there right there. We've got a basic tree set up. We're going to make everything super green here. That way we can go ahead and just do mass farming real quick. Awesome. And then on the edges out here, we will do the rocks that we want right there and right there that's pretty nifty if i do say so myself we're also gonna moat and some more trees let's go ahead and fill out this whole area with trees as well and then back that way with trees just make it a little bit denser nice and then a little port out here which we can actually let's go ahead and make it uh barren ground comes out a bit deeper Kinda goes out like this. And get that zoned in there. But we gotta add some water. Shallow area leading in there. You can see. And then we're gonna get some deep water right on the edge here. There we go. Neat. And this will be the basic area we're going to have stuff, and then it'll build out to here if we really feel like it, if we get that deep into it. But let's go ahead and just jump right into the video now. It's a whole bunch of random settings, size, and type, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Next, we can name our thing. Let's go ahead and just do Spotlight. And, ooh, banners. They got a new banner, which is that one. Uh, I don't have a custom banner. I did not create one because I didn't know that was a thing. So if the video continues, I will create one. Like if we do a series, I will create one with uh, my logo probably on it. So let me know if you want the video to go on. Sorry, I'm just messing with my hair, it's itching. <sighs> okay, so we're in here. It's unpopulated, nothing's going on. You just go ahead and then, uh, if you didn't know how to play the game, just go ahead and watch my other video because it actually tells you how to play the game. But we're going to just jump right into it. And I think you want to be right about there would be the best place for it. I mean, it's far away from you, but that's okay. Next, we want a town with a road. Actually, we don't need the road right now. What we need first is a house. No, we do need road. Dang it. Road leading out this way. And now we can build houses. We can build one there. 
and we're out of resources. But in creative mode, I can build for free. Whoa, check all this stuff out. Interesting. Let's go ahead and turn off all attacks because I don't want that to happen. I can just add gold. Oh, wow. I can just dump down a <laughs> stack of coal. <laughs> Uh, stack of food. This is uh, interesting to say the least. But let's go ahead and uh, what else we got here? You can build farms. Cool, cool. Uh, put the roads in there. I'm just going to keep going to the edge of the harbor and then we're going to go out towards the trees there. And out towards the rocks out here. And then we're going to want to go out this way as well, but we'll keep it right there. And then what else do we want? We want, let's build a mansion. Alright, that way around, right there. First great library. <laughs> it's huge. That is the first great building. The great library. Get rid of this. Check that out. That one's humongous. I'm not really sure where the entrance is at, but we got a bit of grass around it, so it looks cool. Um neat. But I don't know... Oh yeah, job priorities right there. Found it. Stuff's all over the place for me right now. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out where everything's at. Uh, yeah. Cool. Nifty, right? Um, what else we got? Uh, since the last time I played, they added aqueducts and stuff. So, like, you can get a win of one of these guys, which we'll get, like, way out here. And then, I think that's in food. Yeah, and then you can strap these guys to it, which then they'll, and then a reservoir which basically just turns everything deep green whenever it connects, which is cool, I think, in my opinion, it is a pretty nifty thing to add, um, rock removal actually works now, there is maritime, so like you can get a dock in here, which will put a dock right there for some boats. I need two docks, one for it to connect to, so we'll just put one on this island out here. I gotta put down an outpost first, which is in maritime. Outpost right there. And we put a dock there. And then we can get some boats. Which you just put the boat right there, and it can load up. You can add docks, and you can add stuff to it. Which, there isn't anything to add, because there's no resources being collected, but it'll just it'll go back and forth. So the other thing that I added with Maritime is it added the uh, outposts. Now you can settle other areas instead of just having one massive castle. You had to build roads out to everything. Now you can build separate outposts, which do the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and give them basic stuff here to do. Uh, they'll be under food. Yeah, put it right there. It's the wrong island. Oh, yeah. You got you to gotta leave whenever you're building, and you got to re-enter in order to get the thing to work because you can't build separate locations because they have their own separate uh, sets of things steps I don't know exactly what to call them resources there you go uh, oh yeah the barracks what do we need for a barracks we need a chamber of war that's a great hall we need a chamber of war which we'll just drop right next to the library so the barracks what it does is allows you to let's get close to a road going to turn that way. What a barracks allows you to do is it allows you to train soldiers, which you need gold and food to do, which I don't have any stockpiles to put them in, so we will have to build a granary and a stock room thingy. That's an industry for a large stockpile. Cool. 
Um, you gotta have food, I think it said, right? Or is it gold? You gotta have gold and iron tools, which I have zero of both. So that allows you to train soldiers, and then you can get, uh, like, what are they called? Bigger dudes, I guess. I don't know. Some other people to come there and help you out. What are they? Generals, I think is what the word would be. I think that would be what it's called. Yeah, generals. I'm just building a wall, just because. I'm going to put an archery tower on a couple of these. Even though there won't be anything attacking me. Just for fun. Um, so yeah, the whole point of this game is to just, you just build a nice little kingdom, nice and small, humble. You start basically with nothing and garbage, and you gotta like slowly work up from your hovel all the way down the list of stuff. You gotta keep food, and you gotta inventory manage, and all that other nonsense, and keeping your people happy. You have advisors that kind of help you with stuff. Uh, you got to keep people fed and uh, have jobs for them all. And then you got to keep up the woods. So you can build more things. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy this game. I have quite a bit of fun just messing around and playing with it. But uh, let's go ahead and get the forestry in back here for some more jobs for them to have. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do there for that. And you've got to have money before you can actually, like, have uh, people working in, like, the military jobs because you got to pay them, which I don't have any gold income, which you had to get from, what is it, this guy here, the treasure room. The treasure room is the first thing you have to get to get any of this other stuff. And then you can start taxing your workers, but you got to have people working there first. So it takes a little bit of time to start making gold, but then you can really get booming and have a lot of gold. I think I'm going to put down the church here. I'm going to have to put this way around. That way I can build myself a cathedral, which is huge. Whoa. Which way would I go? Right. Let's have it facing in. Right there. Massive bully right there. And then let's get... Uh, Brick road leading around it. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can build. A whole bunch of cool stuff. And then you can also get giant statues that you can put down. That are massive and dope. Let's get some more farms in there. Not you. I want, not you. I want the small one. Small little farm. Quaint little farming village out here. And you can add windmills. You can get rid of that guy for a windmill. Put it right there, which will boost all those guys, even though they're already boosted. Cool. Isn't that isn't that just fun? Don't you just really enjoy this game? Because I really do, and it doesn't seem like I do, but that's just because I play this game a lot. <laughs> so you just got this boat going back and forth for no reason. Oh, it's just a random boat. This guy's just chilling. How about these guys out here? How are they doing? They just they're just chilling, slowly stockpiling up the this thing here. Let's place a market in here. Let's give them a good road. Get a nice road out there. Get the road going this way as well. Everything's all inclusive. We can get them. They already got cottages. We want to get. Uh, let's get a small granary right there, facing the way. And then um, let's give them a tavern. On the outside of town here. Right there. That's cool. That spot right there is nice. And then we can also give them. A little coal making plant right there. 
And also, yes, there is seasons, and uh, I like to go on like full speed. That way you gain stuff a lot quicker. And it does take a little bit of time to build stuff, I think, in the regular mode. So you do have to go and do that. But just add some gold as well. Hmm. Creative mode is interesting. That's, that's an interesting addition to the game. I don't know what the exact usage of it would be, but it's, it is very interesting. And I do like that they added it. Well, let's go ahead and put in some iron mines and some stone mining out here. Uh, that's the wrong area. My bad. My bad. And get two more out there. We want to do the same thing for the quarry. We just don't have enough people to fill in this area yet, but we're, we're getting there. And then we can get a little hovel there, and then we're going to need a well out here, and we'll put one right there on the T intersection. Oh, those guys are the wrong way. Whoops. Get those two turned around because you gotta have them in the right direction. Whole bunch of people to live here now. Let's put the baker on the edge of town out here as well. And a mason next to him. I think we already have one back here, don't we? Yeah, we already got a baker in the middle of town. Dash, okay. Blacksmith needs bigger space. He needs four slots, right? Okay, so we could put him all the way out here. And then we can also extend this road out behind him as well. So now we can also get a great haul. Plunk it down right there, just cause. <laughs> um, anything else we need to put down? You're putting the grid down. Bathhouse. So we can put deep back here somewhere, right? We'll have to get rid of those two. Chop down those guys as well. I think, I don't know. May not have to. That's huge. Top priority to tree dropping. Get more workers to the top. Get these trees out of the way. Come on, one more tree. You got it. Come on, guy. You got it. Come on. Bathhouse do. And get it connected to a noir. Place the bathhouse in the place this happens, a large area, and you gotta connect to a noir, which we'll put literally right outside of it. That way we can just co weekly connect it. And then we gotta do aqueduct engineer above farmers. Everybody's an aqueduct engineer for now. Actually, let's go ahead and just spawn in some more people. Whole bunch of people. We'll find beds for them. What kind of beds are we looking like? A uh, whole bunch of beds. All right, let's see. We want some more mansions, which we'll put another one right there. And then we can put in one back there. Not right there, not right there. One deep back there. There we go. Everybody's got beds now. Check out this bathhouse. <laughs> They're just chilling in there. Look at them. Just swimming around, having a good time. Neat. Alright. Cool, cool. See 
there's a whole bunch of stuff to do and a whole bunch of people that don't want to work anywhere. I think we're all the way down here. Blacksmiths, librarians. We don't need that many clergy. Let's drop that down. Librarians aren't necessary either. Bakers are more important. Get some miners. Put the dock workers. Make sure we're gonna need them below the dock workers. Cool. And then all that stuff. Castle workers, quarry workers. Jobs, tax collectors, and tax collectors. You want to move around a lot. Windmill worker. We'll put right above Corey. That way we have one more. Yeah, it's nifty. It's a it's a good game. I keep saying it, but I really do enjoy this game. It is a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. I think it's currently on sale with the Steam Summer Sale for like 67% off. Not exactly sure how much that would be. Maybe seven eight dollars. Don't quote me on that. I don't know but you should definitely go check it out and I think it's a pretty good game and uh, since it's been released even in early access beta it was a, a lot of fun I just kind of been away from it a little bit just because I've had other games to play but this is a solid game highly recommend it for people that like city builders or sim management games maybe you may guys might like this I don't know I think it's a lot of fun I recommend it to pretty much anybody that wants to play a new game. I think it's originally only 10 or $15, so even then it's not even that expensive to just pick up, which it's also on GOG.com as well. I think it's .com. That's where I originally got it from, but I linked it to the Steam account because I prefer Steam for my game uh, launcher of choice. Anyways, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. And I will see you all in the next video whenever I get around to making another video, because I don't even know. Also, before I leave, sorry, uh, catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash nerd, just as it is here on YouTube. Uh, on there, I will be doing pretty much just Melee streams. That's probably all I really have planned. But uh, I might branch out and do some other stuff. I might do some Mario Party streams, because my friends like to play Mario Party as well. Or some Mario Tennis, the old school, on the GameCube because that's all the one I have and don't have a Switch. But yeah, thanks guys. Uh, sorry for tagging that in on the very end of the video. But uh, thank you for watching. And shout out to the one guy, uh, Jonathan Ridgely, my younger cousin, that wanted to watch some more of this gameplay. Which I hope you enjoyed there, bud. And uh, I'm sure that you're going to be the guy that comments and wants me to do a playthrough of it. Which I, I could get into it. I can do it if I feel like it. But we'll see. Anyways, yeah, uh, I will see you guys all a late whore. So have a fantastic day, evening, or night, depending on when you're watching this. But uh, good, good night and goodbye, because it's nighttime for me right now. So uh, I think we're going to go to bed soon, and I'll probably just edit this in the morning. But, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> goodbye. I'm in paradise, I'm